As you watch all the army tanks rushing towards the major cities in America, do you wonder just a little bit if this is why Trump dumped so many billions of dollars into the military recently? Or when you look at some nations that actually have not a single citizen sick of coronavirus yet, they locked their entire nation down anyway. Do you wonder if this is how they show loyalty to the framers of the soon-to-come one-world government constitution and this government's going to be led by the exact same political entity that heads up the One World Church as well as the Roman International Court System? Or when you look back and you see how all the political and corporate leaders of the world were meeting with the Pope well in advance of all that we see happening, were they gathering there so as to receive instruction on when and where to bow to his future commands regarding all that we're seeing right now? And are you aware they have openly stated they are planning a new world order by the year 2030. So is this why so many changes are being made so quickly so as to meet the long prophesied deadline? I mean, can you finally see, as billions now see all over the world, that they are shutting entire nations down over something that is nowhere near as deadly as the common flu that kills many more people each and every year? They are literally destroying the economy in many nations for something we now have proof was nothing more than political theater just so they can offer their citizens what America calls a stimulus package so as to better indoctrinate them into accepting Rome's socialist agenda. The fact they are writing new laws right now that are designed to replace cash with a digital dollar that can be easily turned on and turned off per individual in regards to whether or not they comply with the new and unjust laws being passed, this proves all is soon to be in place to enforce the mark of the beast in Rome. And because most people think all this hype about the coronavirus is real, the leaders were able to easily suspend the Constitution so as to allow military troops on U.S. soil, of which most cities, including small ones in rural America, won't even allow you to travel freely on their streets without certain papers, just like they did in Nazi Germany. And have you noticed how every company you have ever done business with, online or offline, have recently sent you an email outlining their public approval of all that the government is doing during the COVID-19 pandemic? I mean, we've all seen the emails. They're doing this because they need to comply in order to keep their businesses open. I mean, worse yet, are you wondering why they are right now talking about passing religious laws based on a Vatican version of Jesus Christ as we speak? And finally... Does it concern you that they have merged this coronavirus pandemic with the climate change agenda of the Pope, wherein students of prophecy have warned is nothing more than something that they need to have in place to get all the leaders on the same page when it comes time for that global enforcement of the mark? If any of what I said rings true to you, and you want all the pictures or the videos or articles and even the doc files to back it all up, check out my March 25th, 2020 blog entry when you get time. Thank you for watching. God bless.